नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग टेक्निक्स कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अ न्यू अलगोरिदम विच इज के नियरेस्ट नेबर और के एन एन इन शॉर्ट के एन एन इज अ सुपरवाइज लर्निंग अलगोरिदम दैट कैन बी यूज फॉर बोथ रिग्रेशन एंड क्लासिफिकेशन टास्क इट इज एन इंस्टेंस बेस्ड लर्निंग टेक्निक देर इज नो एक्सप्लिसिट मॉडल but knn compares a new example with existing training examples obtains k nearest neighbors and assigns an output label based on the labels of the k nearest neighbors the examples are compared with a variety of distance metrics such as euclidean and manhattan distance there are two important questions or hyperparameters in knn how many neighbors to choose that is what is the optimal value of k and which distance metric should be used for comparing examples the key insight here is that an example is labeled by the company it gives let's look at an example of three nearest neighbor classifier this is the training data set with two features feature 1 and feature 2 there are points from two classes red and green and now we have two new examples which are p1 and p2 for which we need to assign the class labels this is an example of a binary classification problem with 3 nn classifier so 3 nn is nothing but k nn with k equal to 3 In this example the nearest neighbors are calculated based on euclidean distance as we said there are two classes red and green and there are two new points p1 and p2 for which labels are unknown or we need to predict those labels so what we do here is for each of these points we look at its three neighbors or three nearest neighbors and compute the class that is represented by two or three neighbors hence the point is labeled with the majority class in its neighborhood so you can see that in the neighborhood of this particular point the red class is in majority hence this point will be labeled as a red point whereas point p2 the green class is in majority in its neighborhood and hence p2 will be labeled as a green point so you can see that for p1 two of three neighbors are red therefore it is predicted to be in class red and for p2 two of its three neighbors three nearest neighbors are green therefore it is predicted to be in class green let's look at distance metrics used in calculating the nearest neighbors following two metrics are used quite often one is the euclidean distance and second is manhattan distance distance between two points x1 and x2 represented with m features is calculated as follows the euclidean distance between x1 and x2 is calculated as square root of sum of square of difference between individual features of two data points whereas manhattan distance is calculated as sum of absolute difference between the individual features of these two data points so we have already seen the the euclidean distance formula we can write this compactly as the square root of sum over m features and what we sum we sum up the square of the difference between uh, feature j of both the points we can rewrite this in vectorized format as follows so we first take the difference between between both the vectors x1 and x2 we take the transpose of the difference and multiply this transpose with the with the difference between two vectors and then we take the square root of 
this multiplication. Let's look at the Manhattan's distance. This is the formula of the Manhattan's distance that we that we studied a couple of slides before. We can write this compactly as sum over m features and what do we sum? We sum up the absolute value of the difference between uh, between two two data points on on the feature j and in vectorized form it can be written as the the multiplication of two vectors the first vector is is a vector of 1 with shape 1 cross m and we multiply the transpose of this vector with the absolute value of the difference between vector x1 and x2. Let's look at the model for KNN. As such, there is no model and we store all the points that are provided as part of the training data. So for classification task, we first calculate k nearest neighbor and these k nearest neighbor take part in voting. The class that receives highest number of votes is the predicted class. For regression task, the output is calculated as an average of the outputs or labels of k neighbors. Let us apply KNN technique and visualize how a new example is assigned a label. For this example, value of k is set to 3. So as a first step, we visualize the training data and a new example. So here, there are examples from two classes, black and white. And this is where a new example is. As the next step, we find three nearest neighbor for the new example using the chosen distance function. Here, we show the three nearest neighbors for our example. We label the new data point with majority class out of these three nearest neighbors. And you can see that the, the black class is in majority in the neighborhood of our example. Hence, the new data point or our example is labeled with class black. So this is the decision boundary that we found for our classification problem between the black and the white classes in the given example. One of the critical questions in KNN is how to find the best value of K. If K is too small, then our model is sensitive to noise. The model will try to adjust to small changes in variance and in this case the model will overfit. The decision boundary will be very jacked. On the other hand, if K is too large, then our model will be biased. The model will tend to ignore the underlying trend in the neighborhood and in this case, the model will underfit. As the value of k comes close to the total number of points in the dataset, the model will predict the label of majority class in the dataset. So here, what we'll do is we'll generate another dataset and observe decision boundary for different values of k. So this is our new dataset, which has got three classes, black, white, and gray. And we have used different values of k and visualized the decision boundary for this three class classification problem. As you can see that when the value of k is small, the decision boundary is pretty, is pretty jagged. But as we move towards larger case, the decision boundary is becoming smoother. So here for k equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4, the decision boundary is, is quite jagged. But as you move towards, let's say something like k equal to 6, 7, 8, the decision boundary is far more smoother compared to what we see over here when k was smaller. 
and as we move further the decision boundary becomes more and more smoother so what we do is we actually we actually plot a chart where we have k on x axis and error on y axis so for different values of k we track the error that we get for prediction in the in the validation set and we select the value of k that results in the lowest error rate so in this particular chart the value of k is lowest when k is equal to 1 hence we will choose k equal to 1 for this particular chart so knn is quite easy to understand and implement the output of a prediction can be explained based on its neighbors this adds to interpretability of knn model KNN has certain limitations. For large training set, KNN can be time consuming since all computations are performed at runtime. KNN is sensitive to redundant or irrelevant features since all features are used to compute distance between two points. On significantly difficult tasks, it can be outperformed by other techniques such as SVM and neural networks. So in this video, we studied KNN model which is a supervised learning model that is used in both classification and regression task. There are a couple of important questions in setting up KNN. What is the ideal value of K that you should be using? And second is the distance function or distance metric that you will use to compute the nearest neighbors. Remember that there is no explicit model in KNN. KNN stores all the training examples and for prediction it compares the new example with the with the training set and find the nearest neighbors the prediction is based on the labels or output values of the nearest neighbors